Stronghold HD is a remake of the game Stronghold. If you paid attention to old games, you've probably noticed an increase of HD remakes, which in all appearance seem to be very successful, as people who used to own the game on CDs but lost them now have to buy them again. The original game was released in 2001 by Firefly Studios and published by Take Two Interactive. The game was well received by players and critics, I think especially due to the core mechanism of building your own castle. While there are many real-time strategy games out there, most of them are of a higher macro scale. In Stronghold we really do that, build a stronghold and defend it. In the old castle, happy times them were. The people were all so much friendlier. Oh, and how we feasted. And uh, courted the fair maidens as well. <laughs> it was work, of course, sharpening our minds. <laughs> Making us strong. Mainly, I remember it as a happy time. Oh yes, and then there were the neighbors. The game offers two campaigns and a plethora of smaller scenarios to play. One of the campaigns centers on the military aspects of the game and offers about 20 or so scenarios, while the second campaign targets the economic aspect of the game and offers only about 5 scenarios. Needless to say, the most interesting campaign is the militaristic one. You start with small settlements on the great island of Great Britain and you complete a set of objectives to go forward and move toward the next county all while fighting off four vicious enemies. Each character has their own personalities that is well fitting to their names. You have the rat, the pig, the snake and the wolf. The game has a pretty basic mechanism for the economic side of the game. You have to set down different buildings to gather resources you need a lumberjack house for the wood and a quarry for the stone. The food supplies is slightly more complex, you can either build hunting huts or a more refined system of farms. You will need to build a wheat farm, then the mill and bakeries to produce bread. The rest of the food is slightly more simple as they only required one production building. The building system is well fleshed out when laying down your fortification as you have a wide variety of apparel to supplement your troops. You can set up machines on your walls for defense or set up a moat with some spike traps and oil patches to set a blaze in preparation for an enemy offensive. The only problem I had repeatedly is when setting down fortification it is quite easy to leave a small gaping hole in the wall. But if you do so, you'll see all the enemies zerg rushing toward it at mad speed and you'll be able to rectify the situation once the invasion is done. The graphics are nice looking, you have an isometric view with beautiful sprites that can be rotated 90 degrees. You can also lower down all the elevation to the flat ground to have a better view of the ongoing environment around you. 
The building sprites are also great and you have a wide range of aesthetics constructions that plays on the fear and happiness factor of your settlement. The music is sublime in this game too. We have a nice variety of interesting songs that gives a nice spirit of the medieval time by the composer Robert Uvino, whom also worked on the great soundtrack of Caesar 3. Now one of the most interesting part of the game is the voice acting. They all have a certain comedic tone given to them. One of the most interesting is the female voice. When you pick a female character, you can quite clearly, distinguishly identify the person who done the voice acting as not really female. Otherwise, each unit have their own voice, and all of them originate from the great island of Britain with their accent. It creates an atmosphere to the game, and finally there is a game where the units have a worse accent than I do. Finally. But you know, Stronghold is definitely a solid game that aged pretty well. If you did not have the chance to pick it up back in the day, don't hesitate now. And skip out the second and third titles, because they're absolutely not as great as the original one. Hopefully you've enjoyed this review of Stronghold, and if you did, make sure to subscribe for more. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.